Hi everyone. So today we are going to look at a webbing activity that provides a visual from unique learning systems. We are going to talk about what is going on in our world right now. So as you've noticed, things are a little bit different. You are not going to school like you're used to. You might be at home with your parents or your family, your siblings. You're used to going to school every day and that's not something that you're doing right now. Your schedule has changed and things are looking a little bit different and that's because of the coronavirus. So the coronavirus is something that makes people very sick. It spreads very easily and it has affected a lot of people in our world. So we are gonna look at this webbing activity to hopefully explain that a little bit more for you. So when we look at what we're talking about, we are talking about the coronavirus. So again, the coronavirus is something that makes us sick. So when you're coughing or sneezing, maybe you're running a fever, that's similar to what is going on around the world right now. This coronavirus is something that makes people very, very sick. Okay, where is it happening? All over the world. So this isn't something that is just affecting um, people in our town or our schools. It's even outside of our state, it is all across the world. And that is why it's such a big deal right now. So why is this happening? What is going on? So we know many, many people are sick. So many people get sick because we can spread our germs very easily. So if we shake someone's hand, if we cough and we don't cover our mouth like we're supposed to, those germs spread. And when those germs spread, it gets to other people, the virus gets into other people, and it can make them very, very sick. So it's important that we practice very good hygiene with covering our mouths, washing our hands, everything that we've talked about with using good hygiene. It is very important because the more that we do that, the less it spreads. So when is this happening? It's happening right now. And so as I mentioned, your schedule probably looks a little bit different than what you're used to. You're not going to school right now, you're staying at home. And we aren't sure how long that's gonna last, but the more that we do to help ourselves with keeping good hygiene and staying away from um, whether it's our neighbors or going out in public, you know, we wanna make sure that we're having social distancing, that way we can help stop the spread. So who can help us? Doctors can help us. Let me scoot this down. Doctors can help us. So we see doctors all the time. Whenever you guys are sick or if you have a checkup, you go to see your doctor. So doctors are working very, very hard right now all across the world, and they're trying to help everyone who's in the hospital who has this virus. They're also looking for cures to help stop the spread and to stop the virus from getting any worse. So if you see a doctor, if you know a doctor or a nurse or anyone in the health field, please tell them thank you for everything that they're doing for us. If you have any other questions about what the coronavirus is and how it affects us, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Remember, I love you guys, I miss you guys, and I hope to see you soon.